Just wanted to do this short video um, to let you know how you can do a little bit of an Indian head massage for yourself. If you can't get to me or you're unable to have an Indian head massage um, with a practitioner, then sometimes it's helpful to be able to do just a little bit for yourself. Why would you want to do this? Well, we carry a lot of tension in our bodies. It reflects our minds and how we're feeling. And also there are some reasons that we might have tension through injury and other areas. And the scalp is one of the areas where we do hold tension. Um, it's been known for, for years. It's where Indian head massage came from. And uh, by manipulating the scalp and the surrounding areas, you can actually get quite a bit of relief from that tension and it can also help um, if you have a headache that's related to tension as well. So what is it that you can actually do? Okay so we're going to start working on the scalp and that includes the forehead, goes all the way back and to the, the bottom of the scalp where it starts to attach to your spine. These are your tools, you don't need anything else, you don't need oil. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do what is called um, a scrunch. Now I'm going to demonstrate on this very obliging pillow, which has got a pillowcase on it. What you're actually going to do is this on your scalp. Now what you're trying to do on the pillowcase is move the pillowcase over the pillow. So this is moving the skin of your scalp over your skull. It's not just giving your hair a little bit of a well, one of those. You're actually moving the skin of your scalp. And that's how the tension gets relieved. Let's put the pillow back over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here. Now it doesn't matter where you start. It's about your own preference. And you're manipulating that scalp, digging your fingers in, in a sensible way. We don't want to leave any marks or anything like that or break skin with fingernails. But you go around. And when you're doing this, you can miss bits because of the positioning of your hands. So give it a good old run through. OK, you can keep doing that for quite a few minutes. You may notice some tight bits. I do right there. So you might want to give those a little bit more of a work through. OK, so that's one of the things that you can do. The other thing is round your ears. We can hold a lot of tension at this piece back here behind our ears. So run just a couple of fingers through there again. Notice if there are any tight bits, any discomfort. Be careful with discomfort, but just give that a nice little rub. We can then move on to the ears. Give them a tug. We forget about them. They kind of just sit there on the side of our head, don't they? Give them a nice tug. Stretch them out, stretch them back. Oh. And you can have a nice little hang on the bottom of it, get the blood flowing into it. All right. So that's the ears. So we've done a go over the scalp and ears. We can end with a tug. Now, unfortunately, if you've got really short hair or no hair, you're not going to be able to do this. But what we're looking to do is grab the hair and give it a good pull. OK, it's not going to come out. And we do that again all over the head. So you're taking a handful, you're scrunching it between your fingers and just give it a squeeze, which pulls at the root. It gives the root of the hair um, added um, blood flow, which enables it to grow healthy and strong. Hopefully you'll find those tips useful. Um, when you do want to experience a full Indian head massage, then do get in touch. Uh, but I hope they help. Please let me know in the comments below what you found out when you tried this. Thanks.